Let's go to work in the Bible. I want everybody to follow me. You that's here in Dover, Delaware, don't get upset and leave now because uh, you're the host and I'm the guest. You live here. Amen. I'm just passing through doing the drive-by shooting. Amen. Ah! Amen. Glory to God, I'm doing the drive-by shooting. Amen. And all my bullets say the same thing. Scripture, 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 scripture. And sometime I got to unload scripture. I got to cock it. Scripture. Right. Ah! Especially when I say a false prophet get up. Scripture. <laughs> Glory to God. All right, let's go to work in the Bible. In the book of Romans, chapter 15, and we're at verse 4. Follow me in your Bible, brothers and sisters. God bless your heart. Romans, the 15th chapter. And Begin at, at verse 1, son. At verse 1. All right. We then that, that are strong. We then that are strong. Are to bear the infirmities of the weak. Now, hmm. weak preachers, weak leaders produce a weak people. That's right. The reason why so many people around the world complain about Pastor Jennings, they say he sound mean, he don't preach with love. You take an uh, uh, inexperienced young parent who don't have what it, the necessary skill how to properly raise children and implement discipline. Well, that child may not have to wash his hands and they would go in the refrigerator at will and run across the couch with his shoes on, and hit mommy back, hit daddy back. They think it's cute. But when that little boy and little girl go to grandma and grandpa house, where there's order, and grandma and grandpa say, ah, wash your hands. Mm -hmm. They don't even have to talk much. Grandma just look at him. And right there, he get that shame look. <laughs> yeah, he understand. Well, I'm like grandma and grandpa. Wherein the preachers in the pulpit today is like the young, inexperienced generation. Yeah. He's afraid to offend you. That's right. So this is why he invite in this church so-called Christian comedians. Yeah. You got to be a fool and a good fool if you think comedy, <laughs> a Christian comedian, represent the book. My Lord. Did the apostles and Jesus sponsor Christian comedy clubs? No. So this is what the modern churches say. Well, we have to resort to these methods in order to bring in the young people. We have to give the young people what they want. So if the young people say, let's have raffle tickets, they have the preacher don't say nothing. He lets you do it. If the, if the young people say, hey, uh, Pastor, can we have a fashion show? Why, go ahead. That's right. Young so-called saved girls will come out with a skirt this big in a blouse, that big, half naked, showing their body all in church. And the preacher ain't going to say nothing That's right. because he's going to be out there looking at your daughter too. Oh, yes. They will have so-called praise dances where they move all the chairs in the podium from the pulpit and turn it to an entertainment stage and have music playing over the speakers of some sinner, so-called Christian group singing, and they all dance into it, and they say, that's praise dancer. That's nothing but a bunch of sinners. That's right. The Lord says, my house shall be called a house of prayer for all people, the church. Supposed to be a sacred place. That's right. So how is it you gamble, smoke, sell raffle tickets, play the lottery, have a church dance in the fellowship hall, yeah. rent part of the church out to the neighborhood community so they can play get bingo and have Christmas trees in your church? Yes. He told you what his house should be. That's right. He said, my house That's right. shall be called a house of prayer for all the people. All right, what did he say? We then that are strong. We then that are strong are to bear the infirmities of the weak. And not to please ourselves. And not what? Not to please ourselves. We have a message that God call holy. Holy. 
Well, Pastor Jennings, you, no, 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 don't blame it on Pastor Jennings. God called it holy. That's right. And God said for us not to please ourselves. ourselves. Now, when you're not holy, when you're not holy, when you don't have holy teaching, when you're not in the holy church, and you don't have a holy preacher, and you don't believe in the holy book, yes. and no one is standing for the holy word, yeah. then you got to have a church full of sinners. 